All right, so who we got next is the youngest member of the Edmonton Equity Group. That's right. He's excited to tell you everything he knows about it. Uh-huh. That's right. Mm-hmm. How excited are you to be an entrepreneur? Tell me about it. Whoa. Whoa. Ah. Uh, uh-huh. You don't say. Oh, yeah, I know. Hey, what do you think about money? Ooh, tell us about money. Uh, what does make you happy? Boobies? Do you like boobies? We all like boobies. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks for coming out, buddy. There we go. No, I want out of here. All right. Hey, next guest, Georgia. And she's here to talk about nonprofits and what it, what goes, tell me about the world of nonprofit organizations. What does that term even mean? Um, I feel like it blankets like a lot of different groups and just um, for me myself, it's anything that's, you know, working towards making the world a better place, giving back. It's a very different environment to be in than the traditional for-profit kind of world, but um, it's really fun and it's a very, very rewarding sector. I was going to say, it must feel good to know that you're actually changing lives, but it must involve a lot of volunteer time because obviously we can't be compensated in a structure like that, so how... How much time do you, well, maybe I'm asking you wrong, what type of time do you give into programs? Because like, you've got a lot of other things to go on, like everybody else. you got a lot of things to go happen in your life. How do you make the time, and roughly how much time weekly or monthly do you put into nonprofit work? So my full-time job is with a nonprofit, so oh, I do okay. get paid. Okay. Um, I work in fund development managing, so I Wonderful. professionally raise money. Um, obviously, it's not like a typical structure like some other jobs in, in the nonprofit world. You can't make commission because yes, uh, yeah. that's unethical that way. But, um, you know, I still get get paid for the work that I do and I get to learn a lot because in nonprofits you wear a lot of hats. Yes. So even though I'm in fun development, I also like do the social media and I go to some of our programs and um, I get to work with some of the kids. So that's, We do a lot of kid child based. Yeah. At, that's kind of like where we come from. We work with yeah. almost every child-based organization in Edmonton. So that's that's very cool. Yeah, and so um, it's it's 40 hours a week on that. And then um, back in October, my mother and I officially registered our nonprofit that we own together. So well, your own. Yeah, so Big that steps. one is on top of my 40 hours a week um, kind of thing. And that's my like volunteer time but I'm also like building a brand and and around that nonprofit it's a crisis response for now and just being able to help and same thing targeted for youth it's targeted to newcomers from Ukraine oh that's big yeah yes that's so um, it's that's a really rewarding thing too it's very heartbreaking and just great that you know you can provide resources and support and I've gotten to meet some really really awesome people who I get to call friends now um, some who, crazy stories you must hear right? yeah we're really lucky to have them here yeah. in Edmonton and you know very hard work huge huge Ukrainian population here in Edmonton I mean I grew up on a farm and it, Rural Alberta is Ukrainian <laughs> farmers, so oh, yeah. some of the hardest working people you're ever going to meet, and, and they don't they don't really want trouble. They just, hey, let us work our land. We're going to build families. We're going to generationally keep getting better and better and better. Mm -hmm. so this is why Canada is one of the greatest places in the world, because, maybe the greatest place in the world, because you can come be something special without the, wor the world, you know, putting you in a box or telling yeah. you what you can or can't do. So. I think we take for granted like how lucky we are to oh live God. here, yes. and it is really cool that there's so many different cultures here um, that we get to welcome. Like, and we're stronger here. for it. Absolutely. And the food. If any of you <laughs> don't like Ukrainian food, you do not like food. I'm sorry. We just um, entered a venture where we're actually um, doing Ukrainian food. Uh, the newcomers cook it, and then we sell it. And it's great because they don't need to know English to do that. Here, um, just tell me when yeah. you're selling it. We're in. We'll actually throw another event like this straight With up. Ukrainian. Just create. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. It's great because they're able to make money while they're still learning English. It's a safe environment. They get to create recipes that remind them of home or, you know, remind them of the, the country that they left. Um, but, yeah, we uh, went a little a little too hard. So in our first 48 hours, we had th over 300 orders. Um, so we, like, food really, left for us. Okay. really dove in. And, and so now we're starting to get the hang of it. But, um, yeah, they totally and took over in the kitchen, got all these orders fulfilled, and it was super delicious. Do you have a link for that that you want us to provide, or is that more of a side thing? If you want to, yeah, yeah. Sure, we'll make sure that we get it, <laughs> and we'll put a little flash here at the bottom of the screen. 
yeah. for you to get a hold <laughs> of Georgia or anyone else in the organization where you could get some Ukrainian food yeah. made from authentic people. Yes. Ooh, we love authentic people. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thanks so much for being no on, worries. Georgia. That's cool. Thanks for having me.